What's up guys? This is Mike Tech here back again with another video review slash overview of the Unity UT216 digital clamp arm meter 600 amps with True RMS right there in the front of it. This is the top of the line version. Comes with an OLED screen as you see right there in the box. Now we're going to go straight into it. We're just going to go ahead and unbox this meter just to show you what comes inside of it. I did take this meter out of the box prior to this video because I wanted to test things out. I wanted to get familiar with the meter that way when I do the overview I know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing you see on the bag it comes with a nice carrying case. You see the Unity logo. Let's go ahead and open it up. There is no clamp on the bag. Nothing to like hold it on to like a belt or anything like that. It's just a case. So first thing you see Instructions, obviously, you got your regular English instructions, really good instructions. Tells you everything you need to know about the meter. Let's go ahead and toss it aside because you guys aren't watching this video for instructions, right? Hopefully, I guess so. I don't know. But um, right here you got your probes. These are 10 amp rated probes if the camera wants to focus. There we go. Where does it say? 10 amps, right there. 10 amp rated probes. You won't be using these probes to measure amperage. That's why it has a clamp at the top. But it is rated just in case you want to know. So that is a nice little feature that the probes are rated for 10 amps. Right here you got your K-type temperature probe. Right here. K-type temperature probe. This right here is the probe that you will be using to measure the temperature with. Right there. Let's take this top to the side. Let's get straight to the good stuff, the meter. Now, one thing that I should mention, this meter does come with batteries. The batteries are not installed into the meter. The batteries come inside this little pouch all the way down to the bottom. So before you throw the pouch away, make sure to check and take the batteries out. Put the batteries straight into the back. This takes, I think, uh, double, no, triple AA batteries. I think it takes two or three of them from what I remember. Not too sure about that, you know, just go ahead and read the box um, once you get it. But it comes with batteries, take the batteries out of the case, put them in the meter, you're good to go. First things first, let's talk about the features right here on the dial. So you got your all button right here, you got your AC amps, DC amps, you got your voltage along with DC voltage and AC voltage. Now to select between the voltage, you got to press the little select button right here. Now on top of that, it also shows you your hertz. Your hertz will be displayed on the side. And it also has a dedicated hertz feature right here as well. Non-contact voltage detector. So I'll show you that in a couple minutes. Voltage, um, not voltage, Fahrenheit and Celsius for your K-type probe right here. So your K-type probe, let's see, right here you got your plus and your minus. Plus and your minus right there. It'll plug right into, yeah, like that. And then you can use that to measure your temperature. How nice is that? Right, so right here you got your continuity, resistance, capacitance, all right here. So that's a nice little feature, and it also does have a beeper on it as well. Um, so now down here you got your hold, your setup. This does have settings to change the brightness, and it also has settings for something else that I can't remember, but I'll show you to you in a couple minutes. You got your min max right here. You got your zero to re-zero your um, clamp meter. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Like I said, OLED, really nice bright display. The display is flickering in this video. In real life, it doesn't do that. Um, first thing, let's take it to, let's take you through the screen right here. You got your count right here, how many, how many amps you're, you're measuring. Down here, you got your range down here. Over here, you have your hertz, which is kind of cool. This is what I was talking about with, um, if you put it in voltage mode right here. Over here on the side, it also displays the hertz. Now to switch between your AC and your DC, you just press this button right here. Now that's DC, you press it again, back to AC. So that's kind of cool. You also got a little battery meter right up there at the top, tell you how much battery you got. Like I said, this is a true RMS, so this will tell you the actual voltage of AC. So if you're measuring anything that is AC, it will tell you the actual voltage, unlike a lot of other meters that would probably just give you something that isn't really there a real, a real reading so let's go down to settings real quick press press and hold right here now it says auto timeout so this tells you 
um, how long the meter will tell, well, how long the meter will stay on before it automatically just turns off on you. Now you press this again. Where is it? The select button. Select button. Okay, you press the select button again. It says O L E D brightness. So you can go ahead. You can select the brightness. All the way up to a hundred percent, or you can turn it all the way down to I think ten percent. No, zero percent. Okay, so there we go. So that's how you change the brightness, and you press and hold it again. It goes back to the regular screen. Now up here you go. So you got your continuity. Right here, let's go ahead and check the continuity real quick. Let's see how quick this thing is. So let's go ahead and take our probes. Put our probes inside the port. Positive and negative. Now let's go ahead and uh, continuity is on. Let's go ahead and check this thing here out. And it also does come with little covers for the probes as well. So you can go ahead and pull that off. Uh, come on, come off, come off, come off. There we go. So, let's go ahead and take this thing, put it together. Let's, first things first, we got to put it in the right mode. So, let's go ahead and change that. That's not it. That's not it. There we go. That's the right mode. Continuity. All right. Like I said as well, you use the select button to switch between the modes. You do that with all of the ones that have the the little orange next to it so but anyway let's go ahead and test come on where's the beep oh there we go there's the beep let's do it again ah it takes a while because this is auto ranging as well so let's bring it closer to the camera and let's do that it's auto ranging there we go there's the beep come on beep 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 Eh, I don't know what's happening here, but whatever though, it does work. It beeps. It is auto ranging, so it might take a little while for it to actually pick up on what it is you're trying to do. But it does work. It does measure voltages. It does everything that it's supposed to do. Um, it also let me change. Let me show you that non-contact voltage. Now this cable is for the lights that are sitting right above me, and if I bring it close, it will detect it. And it also shows you how much power is flowing through that wire, depending on how many of these bars are lit up. So that's kind of cool. Bring it away. Stops. Bring it closer. Away. Close. There you go. So that's kind of cool. Um, over here on the side, it also has a little flashlight. So you press this. Light comes on. Press it again. Light turns off. So there you go. Now, how accurate is this meter? I think it says about plus or minus a couple volts so it is pretty damn accurate I have been using it for the past like week two weeks and every time I've used this meter it has given me an accurate reading of the voltage that I was reading I also have used this on AC as well the AC feature is really really handy because I don't have any other meters that have the true RMS so this meter is it's definitely been a little bit of a lifesaver when it comes down to that so do I think you could buy it? Do I think you should buy it? Yes, definitely. Especially for the price. I think I paid like $139 for this. Like I said, again, I will put a link at the bottom of this video. If you want to go and check it out for yourself, you can do that. But I only paid like $130 for this meter, and it's the best meter I have so far. So definitely, I do think you should buy it. Go ahead and check out, check, go ahead and check out the meter. I'll put a link down at the bottom. That's going to be it for this video. So... If you like the video, put a thumbs up. Dislike the video, put a thumbs down. Comment if you want to. And that's going to be it. Alright guys, something that I want to show you really, really quick before I end this video. Let's go ahead and measure some voltages and some temperatures real, real quick. Just to give you guys a really good understanding of how accurate this meter is. So let's go ahead and put it on. Voltage is loading up. It obviously, it's, gonna, it's always going to start in AC. That's something that I dislike about this meter, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's always going to start in AC. Press the select button. Changes it to DC. Let's go ahead and put these probes inside here real quick. Black goes to black. Red goes to red. You know, basic stuff. Common sense. Let's put this down there. This right here. 12 volt lead acid battery. 7 amps right there. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and measure these voltages. Let's see what we got. 
Actually, you know what? I got some clamps down here on the floor. Let's use this. Make my life a little bit more easier, right? Why not? So let's clamp on first one. And let's do the same thing for the negative. Now let's go ahead and do that to the poles. Negative goes to negative. Positive goes to positive. Look at that. Right away, what do we have? 1299. That's pretty damn accurate if I say so myself. 12 volt battery. 1299. Now this battery was charged up to around 13 volts, but it probably dropped down a little bit. It's been a while since I've used it. But that just goes to show it is accurate. It does measure voltages. Press the button again. Switches back to AC. Obviously an AC is not going to give you anything. Put it back to DC. 1299. There you go. So I just want to show you that real quick. Let's also go ahead and measure some temperature. So let's go ahead and put this K probe in here. Right positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. Let's go ahead and switch this to temperature. The temperature probe right here. Put my hand on it. it. Should rise up. And then if you want to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, just press this button. And it changes. Let go. It should drop back down. And there you go. It's dropping now. Change it back. Celsius, same thing, it's dropping now. So there you go. Guys, just wanted to show you that real quick. You know, it can't, it, it wouldn't be a video without me showing you at least everything that I possibly could. So there you go. Now, that's going to be the end of the video. Peace out.